JJ, you've been an incredible competitor, but you have fired your last shot. Take a moment, say goodbye to these guys, and you can head on out. At this point, my road pretty much ended, and it was a cliff, not a finish line for me. JJ, you're up first. Right off the bat, I picked the eight inch pane of glass at 50 yards, figuring with the Schofield, it has about a six inch drop. At least that was my guess. That is wood. a miss. Did they go big or go home? After the first round, Ian was the only one that was able to hit the pane of glass. Chris and I still were at zero points. So I figured, you know, it's anyone's ball game. Going to the third round, I knew I was way behind and Chris needed to miss and I needed to make. Chris picked the beer mugs at 100 yards and right off the bat I knew, I was like, man, that's almost impossible. Well, you're not out of this thing yet. I stepped up there, thought it was good, even felt that it broke, and then I couldn't see it for a little bit and then there that little beer glass was, still standing there, pretty much grinning at me, laughing, dancing, and I was the only one not dancing and laughing this time. Some of us like to push ourselves a little bit too much. That's what I did today. I pushed myself way too far into the edge and I fell off that edge. Good for Ian and Chris. They're still on this thing and they stepped up today. I fell down today. See you guys soon. All right. You bet. I'm so happy that I was here and I came. This is a once in a lifetime experience and I'm glad to be the last three. It would have been better if I was the last one, but I'll settle for three for now.